Hi, I'm Minister Ralph Fredericks. Making a difference is my belief. Here is my challenge to everyone. I just want to challenge everyone, a challenge I'm also trying to live out. No matter how busy you are, there is always something you can do to brighten someone's day. Give someone a hug. Send a text with an inspiring quote. Friends, mail a heartfelt card. Tell someone how much you appreciate him or her. If we look each day presents us with opportunities to share kindness throughout the world, my core belief that we are called to not only love God and love people, but to carry out the Great Commission and share the eternal message of Jesus Christ. My goal is to help you reimagine your life and let go of the thoughts and behaviors that undermine you so that a renewed and fulfilled you can emerge starting today. We must love one another as God loves each and every one of us. To be able to love, we, my friends, need a clean heart. Prayer is what gives us a clean heart. The fruit of prayer is deepening of faith, and the fruit of faith is love. I hope each and every one of you remember to show compassion and have a a great life ahead of you with Jesus Christ. Good morning. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I am an author and fiction recovery coach for life coaching ministry and the host of the show, The Take Your Life Back Today radio show. You can see a video version of this if you go to YouTube under Channel Take Your Life Back Today show. Listen to iHeartRadio, iTunes, Google Music, Amazon Music, and other digital platforms available in your area. I want to talk about struggles today. Do you uh, ever find yourself feeling down because your situation in life is just so terrible you're facing one problem from the left one problem from the right and and you don't know which way to turn well my second book i ever wrote was called struggles became my strength because my friends like you wherever you're watching and listening to me i have faced every single struggle in life but you know what those struggles made me stronger and where did i find that strength through the power of Christ. I asked God to guide and direct me, and he guided and directed me through every single struggle, through depression, through alcoholism, through uh, 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 being irresponsible. Every single struggle you can imagine, I have faced. And every single time, through the power of Christ, I have become stronger because I trusted in the Lord. You know, there's a thing called faith, and when you truly have faith and you use faith is, is when you totally know that no matter what, you can't fix this on your own, and you are putting your faith in God, and God will work with you and guide you and direct you like he's done with me. Let today, my friends, become uh, your first day where your struggles, like my struggles, become your strength, like they've become my strength. You can find my second book, Struggles Became My Strength, on, in any big box bookstore and Christian bookshops. Because your struggles can become your strength. If you put your faith into God, let God guide, let God direct you so that you can face tomorrow a stronger person. Relying on God is like weightlifting. You become stronger and stronger in faith. It's not going to be easy in the beginning, but it will become easier if you repetitiously read the word of God. May God bless each and every one of you and have a great life in Jesus Christ in your life. Let your struggles become your strength. Take care. Bye-bye. Talk to you tomorrow. Remember.